Okay, so this is going to be a super crash course in how to use the online yearbook creating program. So I'm doing this super fast for two reasons. One, because I only can record in five minute intervals. And two, because I actually want you to learn this stuff on your own. You'll retain it more if you have to kind of work at it and dig and, and figure out what things do for themselves. So I'm going to show you where everything's at, but you're going to spend, this is a big day in yearbook today so you're going to spend the class time the whole class time in this program messing around with it recreating that template that i posted a picture of in the assignment so first step is to go to studio.balfour.com like it says up here you could put dash login but if you just do studio.balfour.com it should take you to the login for some of you as a while back for some of you as last night i sent out an email with your username and password Put them in right here and then you're going to hit submit okay uh once you submit it's going to load up studio balfour lots of things here that we don't use <laughs> but what we do use is you're going to hit this launch encore button it's taking you into the actual yearbook program okay So it'll load up here. If it gives you this page, which I don't know that it will, but if it does, just hit skip for now because that's stuff that I'm going to do. Just skip setting setup. Okay, this is the yearbook. Um, you want to start off here by going to pages. I've assigned each of you a set of pages to work in so that you're not working on top of each other. Please work in the ones I said to work in. Okay. Um, and you can see some things that I've messed around with here, but you're going to go into a set of pages. It's taking a second to load, but it will get there. Once it loads up, I'm going to go ahead and just show you all the different tools that there are, but I'm not going to spend a lot of time on them. So you're going to need to mess with them and figure out how to use them. Um, so yeah, sorry about the long load of time. Out. Okay. Once you've got your page loaded up here, you've got some grids on here as guides. Um, you're going to use those. Keep those in mind when you're making stuff. It helps you get things lined up. So, got a bunch of tools. First tool up here, this top one, this is what you need to use to move stuff around. So if you've got something and you want to move it around or resize it, you use the arrow. This is the picture box tool. It will make a picture box. Note that it only makes square or rectangle picture boxes. We'll get to that in a second. This is the text box button. You can do this and it will create a text box that you can then type in. This is the shapes thing. Now this is where you get to be, we get to be a little more creative. So we can come in here and we can make circles. We can make whatever. If you hold in shift while you're making a shape, it will keep the shape perfect. So see how it's a perfect circle. I'm making that. Um, there's triangles also. This is not actually a hexagon tool. It's a polygon tool or pentagon, whatever it looks like there. This is one that I think we're going to use a lot this year. It allows you to make whatever shape you want. So you come in and drag it around, and then you come back, bam. Okay. This is your cut, copy, cut and paste option, and this is your zoom, so you can zoom in and out. Okay. That's that set of tools over there. You also have a set of tools over here. This one you're going to use a lot, okay? This does everything. This is where you change the color of stuff. This is where you change the stroke or the line around things and a bunch of other things. Um, I'm going to do another video here uh, that digs into some details of the tools over there and also how to add pictures. So that's the tools on this side and see you in the next video.